Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create beautiful black and white images in Photoshop. Hello and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And in today's episode, we're going over a very simple technique for creating black and white images in Photoshop that's gonna give you control over your light and dark levels. And don't forget, you can download today's sample image on flurn.com. Just follow the link right down below. We're gonna start by going to layer, new adjustment layer, and over to black and white. Now this black and white adjustment layer will allow you to choose the light levels of all the different colors that first existed in your photo. For instance, we have reds in our subject's skin tone as well as our subject's pants. So we can adjust our red levels and you can see it's gonna affect the red of our subject's skin and our subject's pants. Red and yellow will primarily be subject's skin tones and environments will be other colors like greens, cyans, and blues. In this case, we don't have many of those colors so these are not doing that much. There we go. In this case, I can adjust my subject's pants a little bit lighter using magentas. There we go. I think that looks great. Next, we want to choose our light and dark levels of our image. To do so, we're going to go to Layer, down to New Adjustment Layer, and over to Levels. Now, with a Levels Adjustment Layer, we have two different areas that we can adjust our photo. We have our input levels here on the top and our output levels on the bottom. The input levels display our histogram, which is the light information and the dark information in our photo. So I can take my black point and move that from the left to the right to make more of my image black. I can take my white point and make more of my image white. And I can take my midpoint and move that left or right. I can also take my black point and simply make this a little bit lighter, or I can take my white point and make it darker. Now using a combination of our input channels and our output channels can result in some really stunning images. For instance, if I take my black levels and bring them up, it's gonna simply make more of my image black. But what I can do is now take that black point and bring that a little bit brighter. So instead of my image being just black, we have now some really nice deep grays in my shadow levels, leading to a little bit more of an artistic black and white and something you might see with film. We're gonna do the same thing with our white levels, bring those up just a little bit, and we're gonna take our light levels down. There we go. Let's just make that visible and invisible, and you can see we can now color tone our black and white. We're gonna do this once more and create a little bit of a vignette effect. Back in Photoshop, we'll go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and over to Levels. And I'm gonna take my white point here in my output levels and bring that from the right to the left, making our lights a little bit darker. Now on my layer mask, I'm gonna use my marquee tool to make a selection around the center of my image. There we go. Now once I have my selection active, I'm gonna click on my layer mask and hit Control or Command I to invert that. That simply makes this area not visible on this layer. Go ahead and deselect by going to Select and down to Deselect or hitting Control or Command D. Our next step is to apply a Gaussian blur because I don't wanna see this edge I want it to blend together with my photograph. So we'll go to Filter, down to Blur, and over to Gaussian Blur. And in this case, I'm gonna choose right around 600 pixels for my Gaussian Blur. You can just type in 600 in this case, and hit OK. Now you can see we have a slight darkening around the edges of our photograph, while our center is still light, which draws more attention to our subject. Let's take a look at our before and after. Here's our image in full color. First we convert to black and white, and then we apply levels to give our finishing touches. Well, that's all there is to it. You can use these techniques on any one of your photographs, using the light and dark levels to fit the mood of your image. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button on your screen. We'll send you free tutorials every single week. Thank you so much, I'll learn you later. Bye everyone.